Today we'll make this Dollar Tree arched window look high end. Keep watching. This was a magnet that I had at Dollar Tree and I pulled the backing off. We're going to take some little clips of whatever you have. You can get some greenery from the Dollar Tree. You can get your greenery from the thrift store or from your stash. Here's the tag for that little dome window. Remove your plastic. You can pretty easily pop off that little cardboard piece in the middle. Save it. You could use it for another project. And remove the glue that is stuck down on this frame. If you don't, the project will not sit flat down. So you're going to use some type of a plier or a scraper and get that off. These bullnose pliers of mine are one of my favorite crafting tools and it makes short work out of that. Dollar Tree has lots of really nice magnets that you can choose from with really pretty sayings and pictures on them. I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue here. I'm using the Gorilla Glue Sticks at this time and my glue gun. Just put enough on there to adhere this magnet piece down. This is actually like a ceramic or something like that, the material for this little magnet. Press it down so it's got good coverage there on the back. Now you're going to decide what type of greenery you want to put on the bottom of your window. I like the idea of almost pretending that this is a window that looks out over a garden and has a little window box outside. So I just used a piece of this eucalyptus left over. I'm just winding the wires together there to give us a base for what we're going to put at the bottom of this frame. You can choose whatever shape you want there. If you want to make it more of a straight line, you can, or you can bend it up, curve it. Let you see kind of what I was thinking when I did this project, what I thought might look good together, just doing a little dry run like I like to do before I put any glue down and make it permanent. So I know I want it to be somewhat like that. And I'm going to take this little pick you can get similar ones at Dollar Tree. This happens to be one that came from the Dollar Spot in Target originally. I got mine at Dirt Cheap. Just pull those little pieces off of there. And I'm going to use a little bit of wire. Or a little piece of pipe cleaner or a little piece of jute. To wrap around here and give it a lot of strength in the middle. That's got the ends of all those pieces in there so it doesn't jar loose or fall apart on you. It also gives a nice little area for the glue. Sometimes little plastic pieces will melt with hot glue, but if you wrap it up like this, it'll stay right where you put it. Just add a little dab of glue there to put my end down of the little jute piece. And then I'm going to add some glue. Hold that down. And use one of your clamps. This is a laundry clamp from Dollar Tree to hold that in place. While that's drying, we're going to move on to the almost like little buds or berries that came off of that piece that I showed you earlier. I just picked them off and I'm just going to start adding those in there. Add some flat if you would like, but be sure that you give it some interest and some dimension by putting some of those at an angle and maybe layering them on top of the greenery that you have underneath. This will make it a little bit fuller and give it that high end look that you're trying to achieve. So once your glue is dry, you can take your clamp off and you can start working in that area. shows you just about how long I actually hold it in place before I move on. Rather than speeding it up, I wanted to show you the amount of time that I take to hold it still while the glue sets up. Protect your fingers. I didn't have mine on it this time. 
Remember when you get these greenery pieces that they can easily be clipped apart or cut apart with scissors? Regular plastic only takes the scissors to cut off and if it's something that's wired just be sure to use some pliers so you don't damage your scissors. And you can cut those into little pieces and bits to use wherever you choose. I always look at my projects on every angle to see what I like so that's what I was doing there. I'm going to take some of this cotton cord that came from Dollar Tree as well. And I'm going to wrap it around my hand several times. I'm going to make a bow with this. You could certainly put a tassel on here instead if you would like. That would probably be cute. But this is just a really simple bow that I'm showing you. You're going to take your little piece, another piece of that cord, put it right in the middle of all those loops, and then tie it tightly in the center. You're actually going to want to put like a double knot or three knots in there to keep it from coming apart. Trim off the ends at a length that you like. I didn't want mine to be too long, but I did want it to extend the length of my project. So a little bit of those tails hanging down does that. It makes it look a little bit larger, brings your eye down. And then we're going to work on the top part. I want to move that greenery up and the greenery does happen to match what we have in the little magnet piece that I'm using so that's convenient I'm going to take just a little bit of glue and put that down up here on the top Then I'm going to add a little more glue here and start laying down these little berry or bud pieces this was from the same little picks that we used on the bottom and I just clipped it apart. You can do the same thing to make the parts fit where you want them to fit. And there you have it. Thank you for a full house of people I love. Amen. I love that. It's perfect. Makes my home feel cozy, makes my heart feel happy. And just looking at it brings me joy. So go to Dollar Tree, get one of these frames, and make one for yourself. Put your own spin on it, make it your own. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!